Hey everybody, Tall Family Films here. So my son's starter in his truck was not working well and so we did some testing on it here and I just kind of wanted to show the results of that testing. We'll run this whole sequence again but I just wanted to label a couple of things and explain what's happening when you turn the key to start your car because this is kind of interesting. So the pinion actually comes out and attaches to the flywheel and the solenoid is the electrical connection. So I'm gonna slow this down so you can see the pinion come out. You see how it comes out? That would attach to the flywheel that is up inside your transmission and would actually start your car. You can see now why it is that if your car is running and you try to start the car, you get this grinding noise. Well, that pinion is coming out and it's unable to engage with the flywheel because the flywheel is going so fast. So it's, it's very interesting. And I thought you might find it interesting as well. Now, what we're actually doing here, each time I attach, attach this red cable, it's the same as if you are actually turning the key to start your car. Um, it's doing the exact same thing. So, and you may wonder, well, why can't someone just jump in my car, take battery cables and jump in underneath my car and hotwire it? Well, they could, um, but they, the steering wheel usually is locked and they'd be unable to, um, to drive the car. Also, a lot of times the engine will just cut right back off, especially if it has chip security. All right, so check this out. It's not starting, but when I tap the solenoid, it does. So this is the old trick where people say, you know, hey, if your car's not starting, get underneath it and tap on it with a hammer. And in my case, I was just using this pair of pliers, um, but I wanna start this part over again so that you can see what happens when, you know, you're turning the key, you're trying to start it, which is the same thing as me attaching the red wire, um, and the car doesn't start. So this would be like you trying to start it over and over, and it's not working. It doesn't always have to be the solenoid though. Here's an example where I'm just tapping the body of the starter and it also starts. All right, so we've got power to the starter right now and it's not going. So the power slips off, but you can see that it did work. So it's not a bad thing to try if you're stuck in a parking lot or you're trying to get to work and your car won't start. It's, it's definitely worth trying. It, it does work sometimes. There's these little brushes inside the starter that no longer are making contact and when you just tap on it you give just enough movement for them to actually work. Alright one last thing um, sometimes your starter just sounds really weak when it's trying to start like it's just not very strong at all and here's an example of what's actually happening. Let's listen. You hear that? That's just crap. If this video has helped you, you can really help me by subscribing to my channel and you can help others by giving this video a thumbs up and that will help YouTube find the same video when other people search for similar things that you searched for. Thanks a lot.